the R9 290X um, naked, and here's the cooler, the Gigabyte WinForce cooler. We have one, two, there's a, six heat pipes going through it, right, six, right, yeah, right, yeah, six, okay, I'm, I'm bad at counting like that, and then out here we see five coming out, and down here we see one, okay, so there's six heat pipes, and, um, yeah, uh, what are those, oh, I have Alpita RAM, I have Alpita RAM, that, that's very, very odd, because this R9, will do 1,650 on the memory. Those are probably 1.5 gigahertz Alpitas, though. Because normal 1,250, I mean, 1,500 megahertz Alpitas, not gigahertz. And because normal 1,250 megahertz Alpitas, shh, like, don't do that. Then here we have the VRM. As I said, these are not Coiltronics. These are, these are, I'm not sure, and I will not be, actually, screw it, I will be. Checking their magics. They have a little bit of coil wine if you apply for a mark to them. Otherwise, it's the really great IOR. Let me check. Yep, International Rectifiers um, MOSFETs. No idea who made the caps. And then we have the International Rectifiers uh, voltage controller down there. This is a 5 phase VRM, it's 5 plus 1. So, we have 5 to the core, and looks like gigabyte, alright, and so here we have the memory phases, so up here we have one phase for, for auxiliary, that phase up there is auxiliary, all of these are for graphics, um, these are 15 nano Henry magics, so they're probably in the same uh, output range as the Coiltronics. And therefore, we c this VRM is good for around 350 watts uh, amps output uh, up to really any voltage, as long as it doesn't overstep that power, uh, current draw. And down here, we have more IOR components. They say IOR because of their logo. It's International Rec IR. But, okay, so we have more IR MOSFETs and two more magic inductors on the back. And that's, that's the entire card. Oh, and here's the core, and my LP DRAM, which you can't see, but you could probably read it off of, because the logo got stuck on the thermal paste, but uh, thermal tape. Okay. So, yeah. As you can see, the base is not very well lapped, and the Tim job, while not totally abysmal, doesn't look like the best thing ever, so we'll be replacing it with some very nice jelly, um, with some very nice MX... Or, no, wait, what do I use? MX2. I use MX2 or Gelid GC Extreme. And I don't know which one I'm going to be using for this. Probably the Gelid.